that's the special teams player of the game show? Yeah, it's a kickoff set. Whew. Elijah, we hear you're fast. Uh, 23 <laughs> mile an hour. Yeah, I guess, I guess you could say that. Um, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm the fastest player in the team, but I'm up there. I'm up there. I would say like me, Denzel, uh, Paris Campbell, who are pretty fast guys. But um, yeah, Coach Bar always talks about how fast I am on the field. But, but you know, I just go out there and just run, run fast and do my job. Basically. Who is the fastest guy on the team? Uh, honestly, I don't know. If um, me, Denzel, Paris, we all need to race one day, or uh, and Ken Kendall Sheffield. Top four, I would say, but we don't necessarily don't know who's the fastest yet. We've never raced before. But 23, you get ticketed in a school zone. You know that, right? I did not know that. Yeah. <laughs> Elijah, I, I, how, uh, I don't know, surprise, what are, what, what's the word you would use for how much you're really factoring into things now? Um, <clears throat> you said the word I would use? Uh, <laughs> it's okay, you can it's honestly it. a blessing. That's what I would say. Like, uh, I knew coming into, well, actually, no, coming into the program, I didn't think I would make such an impact. You know, over the years, I just kept developing and, and doing everything I could for the team. And <clears throat> eventually, Coach Meyer gave me my shot to, you know, make something happen on the field. And then, just like Coach Meyer says, if you're doing something for the team, enhance it. I'm going to just keep doing that for the team. So, can you talk about just the trepidation or whatever that you had just even coming out for the team in the first place for you? Uh, so, yeah, I walked on, I think, the, <clears throat> the year after they won the national championship in spring. And I sat home, I was at home watching the national championship and I played football back in high school. And I was like, wow, I really missed that feeling of being on the field. So right after we won the national championship, I started training. And I think uh, walk-on trials were that February. So I, I probably trained maybe a couple weeks. And I mean, I, I, I knew I was pretty athletic at the time. So I was like, I'm just gonna go out and see if I can make the team. And I, I came out and I think like 40 people tried out and they took four of us. And I was like, this is really a dream. It's, like, it's a blessing come through. I mean, it's a blessing, honestly. And like, from looking back now to where I'm, I would never expect to be at this point where I'm at in my career as a football player at a house. Can you describe your position on the kickoff coverage team? Uh, and, so, oh, yeah, go, no, go ahead. Start uh, there. Uh, basically, um, so I'm a five. So we have a five and a six. And my main job is to compress, contain the ball. So our kickoff scheme is we kick the ball on the back right. Uh, to the boundary, basically, and I'm compressing. I'm taking all the air, air, uh, air out of it and uh, trying to get to the man as fast as possible. And then Austin Mack, who's a six, he makes me hold. So I basically can do what I want. So I can fit into the hole, like go as fast as, uh, as possible and make tackles, or I can kind of contain it and be outside of everybody. But Austin makes me hold. So if I uh, go outside, he comes in. If I go in, or if I go out, he comes in. So, so Urban was talking about like the guys who played that position, yeah. so Tyvis and Pierre yeah. and Denzel. Yeah. Um, what do you need to be? What is Urban looking for? We know how important special teams are to him. What's he looking for in that five? In a five, somebody who's fearless, who, who's fast, basically. Like, and that's why he always raves about my speed. He wants me to be the best five. Um, it's because you need a fast guy who's fearless who'll run down the field and do his job. And I won't think it's best contains, basically. How many times have you been knocked? Caddy Wampus running down the field, or do you do you avoid it pretty much? Who's Caddy Wampus? Well, <laughs> meaning Play flipped over, you know what I mean? Oh, I mean? How many times have you been knocked silly, so to speak, running down the field? Oh, knocked ne silly? Yeah. Uh, meet by another individual? Yeah. Never. Never. I, I, I avoid all blocks at all times. Yeah. yeah okay. I just run fast and avoid blocks. <laughs> what, 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 what is the key, what is the uh, secret to doing that? Secret is don't think, you just go. Yeah. You, know, you make split decisions like that immediately, like on the field. We uh. We're always training uh, kickoff coverages and uh, spill, stack, and strain, and uh, backdoor our opponents. These are like keywords they tell us to do to uh, opponents like within a split second without thinking. Yeah. Like backdoor man or um, <clears throat> stack and beat them with speed. Those are like keywords that are triggering in my head as I'm running down the field of what I need to do to my opponent. You're from North Carolina. You're from North Carolina. Why did you even come to high school? So I am technically from North Carolina. So I have family here in Columbus, okay. um, but. I spent eight years in North Carolina, like middle school and high school, and uh, my first year, uh, or fifth year of elementary school. So I claim North Carolina as my own because all my uh, friends are, and everything are there. And my, uh, actually, my mom and uh, parents moved to Texas, so I don't have any real family in North Carolina anymore, but my friends and whatnot who I connected with are still back there. So I still have a lot of people that are meaningful to me, but I don't have any family there. A lot of my family lives here, actually, in Columbus, Ohio. Well, I just we had uh, Johnny and Paris and KJ over there, and I asked them who the fastest receiver in the room was. Yeah. 
And KJ and Johnny said probably you, and which forced Paris to walk off. <laughs> like, what's his what's his problem? Paris is fast. I mean, honestly, he's. I mean, y'all saw him the first game against Indiana, and that speed. He's ridiculously fast. Like I said, he's top four with me, Paris, Denzel, and um, and uh, Kendall. So, has there I, ever been a race? Is there ever a race that decides it? There has not. I'm, First, no, not us four racing all together has not been a race. I'm sure at the end of the season we'll do that, yeah. you know, when they're training for the next level. But as of now, I don't know. Elijah, you know, there's been a move in the last several years to eventually, they think, do away with the actual play, the kickoff play. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about that? I mean, how would uh, it change football? Obviously, it would change opportunities for guys like you, but how would it change football? I would definitely make the sport safer. I would definitely say, because kickoff is definitely a dangerous a dangerous part of the game because you have guys running full speed, and you have other people running full speed, and they're just collisioning. You have like 50 yards of momentum and two guys running full speed into each other. So it would basically make it the game more safe. But people like me who who would get their shot at kickoff and whatnot, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't exist basically. But I mean, in the end, it makes it more safer. But yeah. Yeah. Elijah, Elijah, you said that you need to be fearless yeah. to do that five. Uh, are you naturally fearless, or did you have to make yourself fearless to do this job? Uh, I low-key had to make myself fearless because I remember the first time I got in um, against Russ Rutgers, my first year on the team. I, I mean, it might have just been my first first game jitters, but I was definitely not fearless. I ran down thinking about everything too much. I was, I felt like I was fast, but when I, when I went back and watched myself on the film, I definitely wasn't fast. But I, as the years progressed, I trained myself to. You just can't think; you just got to go. Legends. Sorry, is that something that you ran in high school? Uh, like kickoff returns? Uh, no, I actually I didn't. Uh, I was a safety in high school, but I ran track. I did track and field. Okay, I was, so, um, okay, so did this is something that Urban like really focuses on, yeah. and it's a very unique approach. How long did it take for you to kind of get it, and how how much of a transition was it for you learning this process? Uh, so the first year I was actually at the left missile position, so. Basically, my job was to just spill the ball, basically meaning I was going to run in there, throw my stuff in there, and have the ball bounce out to our one, who was Eric Smith. Uh, as the years, or as the season progressed, my first year, they eventually moved me to five. And I didn't I didn't really understand the concept at the time, so I did, like, that was towards the end of the year, so I really wasn't too good. Last year, they put me at the five for most of the season, and I was decent at it. I still, I, I ran fast, but I still didn't have, like, a, a complete understanding of the job. But this year, watching film and Talking to Coach Shire, who's been a, a great help, I, I feel like I have a full understanding of what the job and the concept. I know, I know you're also on the kick, kickoff return unit. I've seen you have a punt and punt return units as well. What are, what are your positions on each of those units? Uh, kickoff return, I am the left tackle. Um, punt block, I am the R3 or L3. It depends on what we're doing that week. And then uh, punt, I'm a gunner. What do you think of the common qualities you have that, I mean, I'm sure all of those roles are pretty different. Like, what are the common qualities you have that enables you to succeed in each of those different roles? So, I would say kickoff and punt, me being fast and getting down the foot and being explosive and getting to the returner and, like, stopping the vertical returner or making the fair catch in regards to, uh, but also with punt block, too. They're my fast guys who can block the punt, but I can also um, block pretty well. So, that's what they have me on KOR and uh, punt block, you got to be able to. What? What's your week like in terms of you know you're you're a receiver but you're you're playing only on special teams right now is is the way you practice during a week is it different than what it might be for a receiver who's playing mostly on offense? Um, so <laughs> I kind of I'm a receiver like you said and I, I I specialize in special teams so I might put a little more extra work in doing special teams than my receiver play so. It's not too much of a difference between like somebody who's like a full-time receiver, like Austin or Paris or somebody. But I just, you know, add a little more emphasis to my special teams approach and working my technique and whatnot. Would you? Are this your first chance?